Baywatch the movie starring The Rock and Zac Efron. Ah! Fuck you, Hollywood! You are officially out of ideas. It's like, how can we make this... Yeah, bitch, just run across the road. How can we make this the most unattractive, unwanna-watchable movie ever? Baywatch the movie with the fucking Rock and Zac Efron. Who's gonna be the hot chick? Britney Spears? Who's the dumb bitch of the day? Paris Hilton? I don't even know. Ah. <laughs> watch the movie. Beaches ain't ready for this. I'm not ready for this. You know what Hollywood's not ready for? An original idea. That's weird. This is Hollywood Boulevard right up here. I don't know for sure, but I think that this tree behind me in this little hill is the hill that you see at the beginning of the show, Little House on the Prairie. It's the part where the three girls are running down the hill through, through the flowers and the littlest girl falls down, you know, and they introduce you to all of them, half pint and the, the one that goes blind and the, the little one that was played by twins. I think this is I think this is the tree. It looks different because they've got other trees planted around it. But this is in Topanga State Park. I always thought that was such a beautiful opening to a TV show where those three little girls are running down the hill, falling through the flowers. Not that they were falling, but that they were running down through this little beautiful field. And I always wanted to see it. And I, I believe this is it. I'm not exactly sure. It's funny because I'm here on a weekend when there's a lot of families out here. And this hill always represented this wonderful family show and this wonderful family moment where Michael Landon and his wife are sitting on the wagon watching their three little daughters run down the hill and they're laughing and it's so cute. And I always thought that was such a wonderful family image. And yet as I'm here, it's taken me an hour to film this because there's so many fucking families running around making noise and screaming. In fact, there was a kid just over here just a minute ago screaming. What is it with kids screaming today? Kids just scream. They scream all the fucking time. Don't their parents ever say, hey, enough with the fucking screaming. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I really want to go run through this field. Should I do it? <laughs> Bet they didn't do that more than once or twice. I can see why the little girl fell down. There's like a million gopher holes up there. I was really afraid of snakes the whole time too. <laughs> Oh, uh, dream come true, though.
it's one of the great things about living in Southern California is if you're like me and you grew up watching all these TV shows and you always wanted your life to be like that well at least you can go to those places and pretend I mean that's what they were doing pretending oh I'm too old for this never saw lizards like that on Little House on the Prairie This park, you can walk right up to deer. I'm in Topanga State Park today. Beautiful day. Every direction. It's awesome. Can't go anywhere without chemtrails in the sky. My girlfriend didn't want to come with me today. Because every time we go out on one of our little adventures, we get into big arguments and start screaming at each other. Not much fun going on these adventures alone. My girlfriend, I tell you, she never passes up an opportunity to complain. Her attitude towards complaining is, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. That's the only thing we ever bond over is complaining about things. I'll come home and I'll be like, Man, this traffic sucks. And she'll be like, I know, right? And then we start bitching about the same thing. If we're not bitching about the same thing, she's bitching about me. That's the way it works. She's so negative, too. The other night we got into a fight where I was trying to tell her that she was being negative, and she disagreed with me. You know how some people say, yeah, no? Well, she invented no, yeah, and no, no. My ex-girlfriend was kind of a big girl. She shopped at Freighter Joe's. I remember the first time I ever laid eyes on her. I walked into her room, and out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw these three fat chicks, but it was just her. I was watching a beautiful sunset, and I saw this. Stop Trump. See, this type of uh, vandalism is exactly the type of stuff that makes Trump supporters think they're on the right side. Not doing any good here, fellas.